Okay, now I will zoom in for the um, eyelids animation. Um, I'll change this to uh, parameters because I will need this later. Uh, first of all, I will go deeper into the owl. Uh, I've um, grouped uh, parts of the owl, um, the eyelids together in one group layer. Uh, I will show you maybe for another part uh, uh, like this one. If I want to move the ears, uh, uh, I can group that too, or uh, maybe the wings. Uh, so this is a part of the wing. See if I got other parts for the wing. This is this wing. I think I can group these two parts as a uh, uh, right wing. I, for example, I choose group layer. I choose this and I choose the name the wing uh, right. I, uh, I can do the same thing for the other wing, for the left wing, I group it together. Okay, so I, I uh, make a group of it. So I did already make a group of the eyelid on the right side, eyelid of the left side. So now I want to animate it. Um, what I will do is I will call this. Um, Rename it. I will call this iris zero. It's the first image I need, which is an open eye, which I choose as a standard a zero. I will uh, duplicate it, this layer, and call it eyelid one. So if I want to um, use eyelid one, I will change eyelid one. I select it and I will put it like that. You see, it's halfway. Maybe a little more. No, like this. You can even lower this a little bit and higher the other part. So this is um, the eyelid one uh, changed. Um, I will duplicate it once more uh, just to have a eyelid two, which is a. Um, I'm going to lower this so I will have the same numbering as on the left side. So this is eyelid 0, is uh, which is an opened eye. I can see it if I uh, deactivate the other layers. So this will be my right um, with the second position. And now I will make a wait, I'll put them out, uh, third position, so 2, and I will lower it like. I was wrong. I will lower it uh, this low, maybe not like that. So that's a closed eye. Okay, we'll blink. It will just blink an eye like that. Okay. Then I do have to uh, re-enable all groups. Then I um, select all these three layers from zero to one, and I choose group layer again, group layer, and I give it a new name. It's just the I lit uh, right on the right side. Okay. When I make this, I do want uh, to store or change uh, those three images I have, those three positions, and I can do that with uh, selecting Z range here. Okay. You'll see the Z range takes a default uh, zero. Uh, so default uh, the zero. Um, Eyelid which is opened with me, you'll see it, it's highlighted here, zero. So if I want to animate it, uh, for example, here I'd like to put it in position zero. Uh, if I want the owl to uh, blink here, <coughs> yeah, the, the owl move to its next position. I will uh, choose at uh, this position, I will uh, animate it. Uh, I take this because um, I take constant. Uh, because other m there is a little bug uh, here, so I take constant and um, I choose position one. Nope. Oof. One, which is uh, halfway, and then a little bit further, maybe just a few frames further or one frame for no, just a few frames further. I will uh, close it, so I choose uh, two. So, and then reopen it maybe. So 
maybe a few frames and then reopen it again one and next frame opening goes faster so next frame uh, maybe zero again like that okay so if i do replay the animation like this you'll see it will blink an eye while flying around that was very fast so i can show it again somewhere oh somewhere here it will uh bling the eye voila voila just blink an eye that's all um this thing can be done with eyelids it can be used for walking uh too um it might be used for flying it can uh, fly the wings like this uh? Um, and so on. Uh, so I can uh, choose whether it uh, will uh, blink an eye or not. Uh, that's uh, one of the basics of the animation here. Frame. It's a frame by frame uh, solution for this.